Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com. Um, today we're looking at two uh, droid razors. One is on ice cream sandwich and the other is on uh, gingerbread still. Uh, pretty much what I've done is uh, upgraded my devices from the Razer to the Razer Max. I do like the uh, device enough to want to go ahead and make the switch uh, just because this has a much uh, better battery life. I was going to wait till the Droid Razor HD or Droid Fighter uh, came out, which has a little bit bigger screen. I am looking for something uh, along the lines of the uh, Galaxy uh, Note. Um, the Fighter or a Razor HD should have the same battery as this, uh, but a bigger screen. Someone said that it has a better d display, but uh, if you look at these displays, I mean, they're really good. The, uh, the, the blacks are really... Uh, deep and dark and it's hard to tell uh, the border of the screen from uh, the actual screen portion. Uh, this is in a uh, OtterBox Defender so it does have that little plastic uh, cover over it with no uh, screen protector actually on the phone physically. Uh, this has an invisible shield. Uh, personally I think it enhances the, uh, the clarity uh, so you might notice a little bit of a difference between the uh, two here you can uh, take this off it's just glued in and install an invisible shield uh, if you desire to do so um, I really don't know what I'm going to do um, I, I really like the clarity of the invisible shield on this uh, but basically I wanted to give you guys a uh, quick comparison uh, when I upgraded uh, the battery life uh, seems to have stayed around the same uh, this is the device that I've been using daily uh, let's look at the uh, the launchers, the home screen. Um, I was running Apex on this, but I took it off to give you guys the uh, stock look. Um, you'll notice you'll have this line right there showing you which screen you're on, and also uh, you'll have the actual names of the applications uh, right there. So you can drag and drop it onto that bar. Uh, you don't have any additional room for uh, applications on this bar whereas you would if you run Apex Launcher. Also on Apex Launcher I do take out the uh, titles and that little line. It gives you a little bit more room. That's why my uh, widget here has uh, auto resized when I got rid of it and kind of crammed itself together there. From the launcher menu um, here are your settings. Uh, let's look at the uh, notification bar on this launcher. Um, with Ice Cream Sandwich you can swipe left or swipe right to get rid of uh, things and with the uh, normal gingerbread and moto blur you just have to uh, click that little uh, sign there. But it does seem, I mean the interface is a little bit of an improvement uh, here. You can actually uh, access the settings uh, right there. just like most ice cream sandwich devices. Uh, you can clear everything by clicking that X or clear here. I like the ice cream sandwich uh, version of Gmail better. Kind of reminds me of my uh, gingerbread Android tablet. That's the interface right there. The number of messages there. Here it'll just say 999 plus if you have more than a thousand uh, messages uh, unread. There's the refresh button. A lot more just shows up on the screen natively in uh, this application. There's our options. Our options there. With the Galaxy Nexus I didn't like the fact that I didn't have a physical uh, menu button uh, but of course on the Razer since it already had it there's no way they can re remove that. Uh, let's go into an email Here's what those screens look like, and here you'll see the uh, overflow menu. We use this for that on the gingerbread version. Pretty much you still have your uh, archive, delete. Um, this pretty much stores it back as new again, so that's very convenient. Personally, I mark messages unread that I want to read at a later time again. Let's go into the settings.
Nothing really special here, just a little bit of a change. Let's back out and go into the stock browsers. Let's go back to Google. That's the uh, swipe that comes on Ice Cream Sandwich. Uh, this is the stock keyboard right here. This is what swipe looks like in uh, Gingerbread. Of course, there are, uh, there's more room for uh, customization. Uh, we won't be showing that because of the time it'll take. So you have the share button right there in the overflow. Uh, it lets you select between uh, different windows. You see the different windows here? You have to go into the menu, then windows. And it doesn't show you that uh, nice little preview. So a few changes here as well. Let's go back into the home. Let's look at our recent apps by holding down the home. Here it just gives you a, a list of them. And here you can scroll with the name of the window and an actual preview of it. Let's go ahead and go into our gallery. As you can see, nothing's really changed here at all. We'll go into a picture. Just about the same thing. Now let's view the camera. So you can see the camera is pretty much the same. Let's go into the settings. So no real big changes there. All right, here's the sock text messaging app inside an actual text. Uh, you can see if you have a uh, avatar for the contact entry, you'll see it uh, each time with uh, ice cream sandwich. However, if you do um, for gingerbread, you'll just see it in the upper uh, corner there. Here's our list and what that looks like. Uh, here you have the option to search right there or uh, create a new message. When you create a new message, uh, you can enter their seat. Uh, you can all put an attachment as soon as you have a uh, valid contact. Let's go back into the re text real quick. If you want to send an attachment you'd have to go to menu and then insert. However over here you can just click attach and I'll give you the uh, options right there. So there have been a few changes to the stock text messaging app. And the last thing I'm going to show you real quick is Google Voice. You can see there are a little bit more of a menu uh, right there, or options. Um, you can't just click that text. Here you can, and will allow you to uh, go back into your inbox. And from there, uh, you can select different folders. Uh, you can't do that in the gingerbread version. You have to go down to uh, labels. You'll see more of a, a menu down here as well. But the uh, one thing that I really like about uh, Google Voice is the uh, integration in Ice Cream Sandwich for uh, voicemails. Instead of just checking your voicemail there, you can go to your uh, recent calls under your call log, uh, select the call details, and play it. You can also play it directly from here. So pretty much you have a uh, visual voicemail just like as you would if you uh, paid for it uh, through Verizon or whatever carrier you have. So if you do flash this to create a wireless, you will be able to take advantage of uh, visual voicemail. Alright, so for more information about this device and more, please visit our website at cricketusers.com. Like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash cricketusers and subscribe to our YouTube channel.